Need advice? Download the free Hello Doctor app on any mobile phone and connect with our doctors right away for reliable personal advice. Go to hellodoctor.com and chat to a doctor anytime, anywhere for less than the cost of an apple a day. Just when you thought no one does house calls anymore, it's back and it's big. Tell us about this week's most interesting house call setting. Michael, most people start the year feeling fresh, full of spunk and raring to go. Well, that's until the second day of work. <laughs> day two, wow, okay. But a mom called last week about a teenage son who was everything but fresh and bouncy. <laughs> when it comes to teens, if you get a monosyllabic grunt out of them in the morning, you're lucky. So it's often tricky to know when something's up, but moms generally have a sixth sense. So what were the main symptoms? Dinero, the mom, called and complained that for the past two weeks, her son had been forgetting where he left his bag and he was rubbing his eyes a lot. He was complaining of feeling dizzy, and hungry all the time, and he was a lot more clumsy than usual. He tended to be short-tempered and quite lethargic. Oh yes, and he had a runny nose. Hmm, that's quite a mix of symptoms, and the possibilities are seemingly endless, aren't they? Phew. True, but as you know and preach, it's always important to understand the whole picture, rather than just focusing on specific symptoms. Well, we sing of the same song sheet, you know that. <laughs> And uh, if, for example, you were to search the web for some of these symptoms, it would probably tell you that you were pregnant, which is clearly not the case. And that's what makes Hello Doctor so unique, talking to a real live, breathing doctor who can ask all the right questions. So based on those varied symptoms, we've listed a number of different conditions that are likely causes right next to Sete. Where did you start with your questions? I wanted to exclude any chronic conditions straight away, especially diabetes. Dino hadn't taken Tim for any kind of screening test lately, so um, we weren't sure what his glucose levels were at was the it, moment. Was there any history of diabetes in the family? No, they don't have a history of, of um, any diabetes in the family, and he's of normal weight, he's generally very active, and he ate an okayish diet. She did say that he'd been asking for less healthy options recently, and he'd managed to plow through a six pack of donuts that wow, morning. Wow, six donuts. I mean, even though diabetes can happen at any age without a family history of the condition, it's likely that diabetes would have been picked up earlier. Low blood pressure could explain the dizziness and lethargy, but not the rubbing eyes or the runny nose. No, it wouldn't. Yes, low blood pressure was unlikely because Dinero also confirmed that his dizziness was constant and wasn't related when he stood up like an orthostatic hypertension. Oh yeah, you had to say that, hey? orthostatic yes. hypertension. It makes sense. <laughs> uh, what about head injury? Was he into contact sports, extreme sports, been in a car accident? No and no. He spent most of his time in the soccer field or, or in the gym, so wasn't exposed to any kind of impact injury on a daily basis. Okay, scratch. <laughs> so I wanted to understand more about Tim's social circumstances because stress and anxiety can lead to depression and sleep loss and vice versa. And in my opinion, things were definitely pointing somewhere mm. along those lines. I think a lot of people underestimate the value of a good night's sleep. Obviously, one night of bad sleep isn't going to make too much difference other than an extra yawn or two during the day. But chronic sleep deprivation, that is a problem. In fact, there have been countless studies that have shown a link between sleep deprivation and a loss of short-term memory, a decreased immune system, increased clumsiness, and becoming overly emotional. Yeah, and don't forget eating more. Too little sleep can spur some less than ideal food choices and a craving for the high carb, high calorie junk food, thanks to some complicated hormonal changes. Which explains the donuts. Yeah, six donuts, wow. Well, Daenerys said she wouldn't have said he was depressed. Besides being a bit crabby, um, he wasn't sad as such. Having been on antidepressants herself, she was quite sensitive to the signs. Okay, there's quite a big misconception that depression is an older woman's problem, whereas it's becoming increasingly common in men and especially in teens. So good for her for keeping an eye on it. No, of course. Dinea said because of the holidays, Tim wasn't stressed about anything. So I asked Dinea about Tim's sleeping habits. It turns out that Tim had been given an iPad for Christmas, and Dinea figured out that he'd been staying up until 4 a.m. playing. Angry birds. It's amazing. Don't we go from the worst case scenario and at the end of the day he was just simply exhausted. And you know, Michael, sleep deprivation isn't used as a form of torture for nothing. I suggested a few ground rules with the iPad, the most important of which is that it stays in the kitchen when he goes to bed. Yeah. And of course, if that didn't do the trick, go and see your family physician. Nice line of questioning, Doc. You put that one to bed. Thank you.
Need advice? Download the free Hello Doctor app on any mobile phone and connect with our doctors right away for reliable personal advice. Go to hellodoctor.com and chat to a doctor anytime, anywhere for less than the cost of an apple a day.